Sofia Villani Sokolone Dame Grand Cross Omri, born September 20, 1934, known professionally as Sofia Loren is an Italian actress. She was named by the American Film Institute as the 21st greatest female star of classic Hollywood cinema. She is currently the only living actress and highest ranked living person mentioned on the list. Encouraged to enroll in acting lessons after entering a beauty pageant, Lauren began her film career at age 16 in 1950. She appeared in several bit parts and minor roles in the early part of the decade, until her five-picture contract with Paramount in 1956 launched her international career. Her film appearances around this time include The Pride and the Passion, Houseboat, and It Started in Naples. Lauren's performance as Cicera in the movie Two Women, 1961, directed by Vittorio De Sica earned her the Academy Award for Best Actress, making her the first actor or actress to win an Oscar for a foreign language performance. She holds the record for having earned six David Di Donatello Awards for Best Actress, Two Women, Yesterday, Today, and Tomorrow, 1963, Marriage Italian Style, 1964, for which she was nominated for a second Oscar, Sunflower, 1970, The Voyage, 1974, and A Special Day, 1977. After starting a family in the early 1970s, Lauren chose to make rarer film appearances. Since then, she has appeared in films such as Grumpier Old Men, 1995, 9, 2009, and Netflix movie The Life Ahead, 2020. She has won an Academy Award for Best Actress, becoming first winner for a non-English language performance, a Grammy Award, five special Golden Globes, including the Cecil B. DeMille Award, a BAFTA Award, a Laurel Award, the Volpe Cup for Best Actress at the Venice Film Festival and the Best Actress Award at the Cannes Film Festival. In 1991, she received the Academy Honorary Award for Lifetime Achievements. Sofia Villani Sokolone was born on September 20, 1934 in the Clinica Regina Margherita in Rome, Italy, the daughter of Romil de Villani, 1910-1991, and Riccardo Sokolone, a construction engineer of noble descent, Lauren wrote in her autobiography that she is entitled to call herself the Marchioness of Lacata Sokolone Murillo. Lauren's father, Riccardo Sokolone, refused to marry Villani, leaving the piano teacher and aspiring actress without financial support. Lauren met with her father three times, at age 5, age 17, and in 1976 at his deathbed, citing that she forgave him but had never forgotten his abandonment of her mother. Lauren's parents had another child together, her sister Maria, in 1938. Lauren has two younger paternal half-brothers, Giuliano and Giuseppe. Romilda, Sofia, and Maria lived with Lauren's grandmother in Pozzuoli, near Naples. During the Second World War, the harbor and munitions plant in Pozzuoli was a frequent bombing target of the Allies. During one raid, as Lauren ran to the shelter, she was struck by shrapnel and wounded in the chin. Eleven after that, the family moved to Naples, where they were taken in by distant relatives. After the war, Lauren and her family returned to Pozzuoli. Lauren's grandmother Luisa opened a pub in their living room, selling homemade cherry liquor. Romilda Villani played the piano, Maria sang, and Lauren waited on tables and washed dishes. The place was popular with the American GI stationed nearby citation needed. Personal life Lauren is a Roman Catholic 38. Her primary residence has been in Geneva, Switzerland, since late 2006. She owns homes in Naples and Rome and used to have a holiday house in the coastal town of Castiglione della Pescaia, Tuscany. Lauren is an ardent fan of the football club SSC Napoli. In May 2007, when the team was third in Serie B, she, then aged 72, told the Gazeta dello Sport that she would do a strip tease if the team won. Lauren posed for the 2007 Pirelli calendar. In February 2021 she was the guest on BBC Radio 4's Desert Island Discs and chose a pizza oven as her luxury item. Her musical choices included Cole Porter's I've Got You Under My Skin, 
sung by Ella Fitzgerald and Debussy's Claire de Lune played by Thomas Vasseri 43 she revealed that fellow actor Richard Burton was furious with her for cheating at Scrabble. Pageantry Lauren, age 15, as Sophia Lazaro during the Miss Italia 1950 beauty pageant. At age 15, Lauren as Sophia Lazaro entered the Miss Italia 1950 beauty pageant and was assigned as candidate number two, being one of the four contestants representing the Lazio region. She was selected as one of the last three finalists and won the title of Miss Elegance 1950, while Liliana Cardinale won the title of Miss Cinema and Anna Maria Bulieri won the grand title of Miss Italia. She returned in 2001 as president of the jury for the 61st edition of the pageant. In 2010, Lauren crowned the 71st Miss Italia pageant winner. In film, 1951-1953, as Sofia Sacolone, and as Sofia Lazaro. Sofia Lazaro enrolled in the Centro Sperimentale di Cinematografia, the National Film School of Italy and appeared as an uncredited extra in Mervyn Leroy's 1951 film Quo Vadis, when she was 16 years old. That same year, she appeared in the Italian film Errol We, S.I. S.I., in which she played an odalisque, and was credited as Sofia Lazaro. In the early part of the decade, she played bit parts and had minor roles in several films, including La Favorita, 1952, 1953 to 1970, as Sofia Loren. Carlo Ponti changed her name and public image to appeal to a wider audience as Sofia Loren, being a twist on the name of the Swedish actress Marta Turin and suggested by Gafrido Lombardo. Her first starring role was in Aida, 1953, for which she received critical acclaim. After playing the lead role in Two Nights with Cleopatra, 1953, her breakthrough role was in The Gold of Naples, 1954, directed by Vittorio De Sica. Too Bad She's Bad, also released in 1954, and La Bella Magnea, 1955, became the first of many films in which Lauren co-starred with Marcello Mastroianni. Over the next three years, she acted in many films, including Scandal in Sorrento, Lucky to be a Woman, Boy on a Dolphin, Legend of the Lost and the Pride and the Passion. International Fame Lauren in it started in Naples, 1959, in which she sang Tu Voo Fa El Americano. Lauren became an international film star following her five-picture contract with Paramount Pictures in 1958. Among her films at this time were Desire Under the Elms with Anthony Perkins, based upon the Eugene O'Neill play, Houseboat, a romantic comedy co-starring Cary Grant, and George Cukor's Heller in Pink Tights, in which she appeared as a blonde for the first time.